everybody and welcome back to the Tea with Mona Me. Today I am going to be discussing Demetrios Bridal. So we do have Demetrios in store for this weekend and next on Chunk Show and I want to go into the line that they sent us and I'm going to talk about some of the dresses from the line and just give you guys a rundown of what to expect from them. Okay so I'm going to take a lot of this information from the site. It's going to be kind of like the structure of the last episode where I give you what they say about their gowns as well as my own interpretations of the gowns and how I feel about them. So I want to start off by telling you guys that we do have the platinum line in store and the platinum line differs from the regular line just in the fact that it is a little bit more glamorous. There is a lot more ball gowns. I mean, it's very classic Demetrios, but at the same time, you do get that um, hint of luxury with it, which is really nice. So Demetrios says about their platinum line, the platinum by Demetrios is a luxurious, opulent, dazzling, bright collection for the queen that is all about glamour and allure you are sure to make an entrance that no one will forget and then they go to say high fashion feel with haute couture look so that is how they describe their platinum collection and i would definitely have to agree with that it is beaded it has very beautiful laces you're going to look at fuller silhouettes but they still have you know slimmer silhouettes you still will see some fit and flares within the collection but at the same time you do also see very long trains and that kind of thing. So that is the rundown of the Platinum Collection. Now let's jump into the dresses. So I'm going to talk about five gowns today and I do have an honorable mention too. I'm going to start off with Alyssa or Alisa. And Alisa, I'm going to read you the description of the dress. Alyssa says, you will be mesmerized with this enchanting, magnificently embellished ball gown with delicate cap sleeves and plunging v-neckline. Alyssa is adorned with striking embroidered lace and features an alluring illusion back with intricately lace motif and button closure. Delicate flowers bloom throughout her luxurious cathedral train. So that is Alyssa. And some of the things I really love about this gown, the cap sleeve. So a lot of gowns, I feel like it's kind of hard to find a really, really awesome cap sleeve gown that still has that that feel. Um, a lot of times I feel like cap sleeves gowns can be a little more on the like classic cleaner side. And this one definitely has, you know, the lace and the embellishment, which makes it a little more glam. And then you get the deep neckline, which is gives it a little bit of sexiness, but at the same time, it's very, very tasteful. So I would have to say that Alyssa really stood out to me because of that. I love how they did the cap sleeves. And then the back is really gorgeous too. So I don't know if you guys could completely follow that because I know sometimes these descriptions are a little tough to try and you know, imagine from, but the back is mainly sheer. So you have the illusion mesh, which is just, I mean, if you're not completely familiar with what illusion mesh looks like, think of like kind of like pantyhose. That's the closest way I would describe it. It's more sheer. So I feel like your skin kind of shows through a little bit more than like pantyhose, but you get the gist. Like that's kind of how illusion mesh is. So you just get a little bit of lace like through the sleeve area and then a little bit down the back. So it just looks like the lace is just kind of stuck onto your skin. And then you have these buttons that go through the back. And again, that gives it a really classic traditional touch on a more modern glamorous dress. So that is some of the features I really like about Alyssa. So the next I want to talk about is going to be Camila. So Camila is described as beautiful Camila will take your breath away. The stunning ball gown features an alluring V neckline and magnificent back with sheer accents. Luxurious Chantilly lace coupled with beading adorns the entire gown and continues into the Grand Cathedral train. Simplifying all of that. So Camila has like these thick straps and another reason, well one of the reasons why I picked this gown was because of the straps. A lot of these gowns I tried to give you guys and just my me describing them ultimately, I know that you guys are probably going to go to the site and look up these gowns yourself so you can see. But in me describing them, I really wanted to pull particular details that I feel like people ask about a lot from them and try and pick based on that. So I know people ask about a thicker sli- a thicker strap a lot. So Camila is really great because you do get the thicker strap. And then at the same time, you get a V neckline. But with Camila, the V neckline is not super low. And the more I look at it, I honestly, I mean, it kind of has a little bit of like a, like the, I mean, it's definitely a V, but how the the neckline is, it almost looks like it 
it's like a little bit rounded too. The neckline is really beautiful. I, I like the neckline a lot. And then it's got this piece of lace that kind of comes up through the neckline. I hope I'm not confusing you guys by describing this, but I think that this neckline is just really beautiful, super, super flattering. If you're looking for something that again, has that little bit of sexiness, but is still very, very tasteful and doesn't you know, show everything. I think that Camila, the neckline on Camila is definitely something that I would recommend. And the skirt of this, this is a ball gown. So the skirt of this is fairly full. And what you'll notice in Demetrios ball gowns is, I mean, to me, they're very traditional sized ball gowns. Like they're not a slimmer ball gown and they're not a super full ball gown. They're just really like traditionally sized ball gowns, in my opinion. So another reason I really like this dress is because of the Chantilly lace. Chantilly lace, is a very delicate lace. It is not super thick. And the Chantilly lace on this gown is actually, it is beneath the lace applique on the top. So there's some lace applique on the top and then the Chantilly is like on the under layer and it's giving it kind of like, um, if you guys are familiar with like Pronovius, Pronovius does that a lot. So it's, it's giving me kind of that vibe, which I feel like just adds to the luxury of it. Chantilly is a very lux luxurious lace. So I like that they stacked it like that. And then you have the finished edge where they have the scalloped lace that goes all along the bottom of the dress and then through the cathedral train. And that lace kind of matches the applique that goes all over the skirt and then on the bodice. So all in all, I really, really, really love this gown. And then the last feature of this gown is the back is sheer. It is lace. There's not illusion per se, but it's just like sheer unlined lace on the back with like a little bit of a V to match the front. But again, it's not super low, not super low in the front, not super low in the back. They don't call this a plunging V neckline. So I definitely take that into account. So that is Camilla. So Nova, we're going to change it up a little bit. Nova is a fit and flare gown. So this is what they have to say about Nova. Magnificent Nova is the epitome of modern glamour. Opulent beaded lace embellishes this fit and flare long sleeve beauty featuring an off the shoulder plunging neckline and alluring sexy low illusion back with button closure. A striking embellished fishtail train adds to the regal touch. So Nova is the first fit and flare I'm talking about. And I just love Nova. So I got to see Nova on yesterday and I was just in awe. I think this dress is so, so, so gorgeous. Definitely something that I think is what a lot of brides are asking for right now. And that's why I'm really excited that they did this because if you're not into the fullness of the ball gowns that I feel like Platinum is known for, their Platinum, Demetrius Platinum line, then this is a really, really great offering. So it has, to, to simplify, you know, you know what we're doing to simplify the uh, description. So it does have this off the shoulder neckline. We'll start there. It's got the plunging V. The plunging V isn't super open though. So it's still, you know, I mean, everything is not out. It's just plunging, but it's a little bit of a, the width of the, the V neckline is not very large. So it has the plunging neckline, the off the shoulder, and then it's got the detail of the off the shoulder. So if it has the plunging neckline and the off the shoulder, then it's going to have illusion on the top. So just keep that in mind with this gown. It has illusion all the way to the shoulders and then just under the collarbone, it looks like. So it has the illusion on it to keep the gown up and looking nice all night or all day. And then it's got the lace on the on the bodice. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like kind of like using my hands to talk right now, trying to describe this because <laughs> it's just habit, but the lace on the bodice goes up like off of the gown almost. So it kind of look, looks like leaves are coming up off the gown onto your, onto your decollete. So it's really, really, there's a lot of details to this gown. The lace is definitely intricate. It's got gorgeous beading on it and it's got embellishment and it looks like it's got a lot of white embellishment too like white and clear sparkle versus silver sparkle it doesn't have silver sparkle so definitely something that would shine in the light super super well and on the on the back you have a completely open back with that illusion and then buttons that go all the way down the center and the back is fairly low and then of course you have the long sleeves and then the fishtail train just means it kind of comes out right below the bum. So yeah, that is Nova. Nova is absolutely gorgeous. I love this dress. I would buy this dress today. 
<laughs> so the next dress I want to talk about is Sierra, or the next dress I want to talk about is Clara. So Clara is described as a, so Clara says, shimmering Clara exudes classic opulence. The bedazzling ball gown features exquisite decadent beading on the off the shoulder plunging v-neck bodice and a luxurious sparkling tulle skirt with regal cathedral train. So to me, this dress is very classic. Um, I do have other off the shoulder options that I've talked about, Nova's off the shoulder. Um, and then I will talk about a couple more off the shoulder options, but <clears throat> but to me, this is a very classic gown because the bodice, it has it has off the shoulder sleeves, not super, super large sleeves either, maybe like an inch and a half. Um, and then it's got a it's got a little bit of a plunging neckline. Again, the width of the neckline isn't super large, so you know. It's not showing everything, but the bodice is completely beaded and the skirt is tulle. So it has a really nice break through the waist that will definitely help to accentuate, you know, your waistline. And the skirt has spark, like it's got like a sparkle layer under it. So this dress would definitely be for somebody that wanted a lot of shimmer, a lot of sparkle to their gown. Um, Again, it's not super, super heavy beading, but you do have like, it's not, it's not an absolute ton. Like it's not a fully beaded dress, but you do have it completely through the bodice and then the sparkle through the skirt. So I feel like this dress might be the easiest to describe out of all of them just because it is, I mean, think classic off the shoulder gown, off the shoulder ball gown with just beaded top and tulle skirt. So it's a great dress. Very, very classic. I really like it. So the next dress I want to talk about is actually one that every time I post on or every time we post on our social media, people ask us about. So this is Dulce. So Dulce is described as... Magnificent Dulce is richly embellished with exquisite embroidered lace and features a strapless sweetheart, bustier bodice, and lavish cathedral train. Optional ruffled quarter Juliet sleeves add a romantic touch. I feel like that description doesn't fully embody what Dulce is, because Dulce is pretty fabulous. Dulce is a strapless gown, as mentioned. It does have a bustier top, so just think like more defined cups and some boning through the bodice. And Dulce has all throughout the gown, there are these, I'm like, trying to zoom in on them so I can accurately describe them because it almost feels more sequiny than like beaded but there's like sequined lace looking applique all through the gown heavily on the bodice and then kind of scattered throughout the gown and then it is on the sleeves too so I've discussed about detachable sleeves and why I think that they are the best thing ever before so you guys know just in terms of your arm movement detachable sleeves are really great but I do think the way that they did these sleeves Again, they are detachable. The way that they did these sleeves is great because they have the, they're they're called a ruffled sleeve, but really think kind of like a, like a very romantic kind of puffier off the shoulder sleeve. It's still very modern. So don't, it's not 80s, definitely not like 80s puffy sleeves, but it's still very modern, but it really does make this dress super, super romantic. Just like it, it just screams romance to me. I actually love, because Demetrios takes their photos in what would look like kind of a ballroom. And I feel like this dress just looks so beautiful in the photos that they took with it. There's like a really luxurious rug that she's like sitting on and the dress is all spread through. And I just think that that's, I mean, that's this dress. It just is giving me so much romance. So the back has a little bit of a dip. It's not, it doesn't have a sheer back or anything. I mean, it is a strapless gown. So with any kind of traditional strapless gown, you're probably not going to see very low backs just because you need the, the support of the back to hold up the front. But it does have a little bit of a dip in the back and it does have a little bit of a dip in the front. So again, we're not going super, super low, but it does have a little bit. So that is Dulce. We did post a video of some of these gowns so that you guys can see how they look, you know, on somebody other than the model. And we have um, posted some content with them. So if you guys want to see kind of how they're fitting and how they're moving a little bit more, feel free to check out that. But these gowns are super, super, super awesome. I do want to do an honorable mention just because this gown is so amazing. But Isabel, we have Isabel in store, of course. And Isabel is a gold gown with 3D flowers. The description says, make an unforgettable entrance with magnificent Isabel. The opulent ball gown is adorned with dimensional flowers, coupled with exquisite lace and features a sweetheart neck bodice that transitions from strapless to a romantic off-the-shoulder cap sleeve. So very similar to the look of Isabel. However, the 
or to the very similar to the look of Dulce. However, Isabel is gold. It's got these really great 3D gold flowers. It's embellished heavily in the bodice with the flowers and with the beading. And to me, I just, every time I see this dress, I'm like, this is the most beautiful dress. It does come in other colors if you don't love the, the gold. I believe the color, um, that I refer to as gold is called multi sheer nude, but it does come in all ivory and it comes in white, it comes in other colors definitely. But I do feel like this dr dress is one that you just have to see because me describing the detail of this dress does not give it justice. It really does have beautiful flowers on it. The color is gorgeous. The off the shoulder sleeve is beautiful. It is very, very regal and definitely in line with the platinum, with the platinum image from Demetrio. So yeah, I just want to give that one an honorable mention because I just pulled five that I really felt like you guys would like to hear about based on what you ask us for. But I do think that this one, this one deserves to be talked about as well. So this is my honorable six. But anyways, so these dresses will be in store for two weeks. We are super excited to make a ton of content with them and get them on you guys and see how they're looking on everybody. Um, so far, we absolutely love. Thank you guys for listening today. We will be back next week with another episode. Until then, if you love this podcast and want to get updated when we post new episodes, please subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. And if you love us extra, make sure to add a rating for us. And then you can follow us on social media. So here we go. It's at Mona Me Bridal Salon at Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We are on LinkedIn. We're on YouTube, um, TikTok, Pinterest. Did I say Pinterest already? All of the wedding sites, of course, Wedding Wire and The Knot. And if I forgot anything, we are on it. <laughs> at Mona Me Bridal Salon on everything. So, oh, and Snapchat at Mona Me Brides. So until next week. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.